12, 12, uh, shots out, sorry, 12 I'm scary video, uh, videos. Caught on, caught on, uh, camera, ca camera. Turn your lights off if you're watching too. All right. Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes. Ice cream, make stars, stop them out. It's a man down. Maybe Milo custom PC getting fanned out. Not from the block, I'm from the H and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a nerf gun, we gon' spray him down. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. All right. Damn. Sorry if it's a little dark or a little blurry, but I turned, I literally turned it even off my, my over, my overhead camera off. All right. Here, I'll, I'll minimize. I'll put it on that screen. I'll make it as dark as possible. All right, let's get it. A little girl named Taylor. <laughs> a little girl named Taylor. Seven years old. Oh, man. This is about to be creepy and funny at the same time. All right, let's get it. A little girl named Taylor, seven years old, runs up to the doorbell cam after school, not out of excitement, but rather sheer fear. No, please come open the door. Oh. I'm a big and I want to come in. Oh. I love my mommy. Oh. You can tell by the fear in her voice and the crease in her brow that Taylor is not making this up. Oh, that's actually sad. Y'all open the door? I'm gonna be real, bro. I don't know, man. A little white girl coming up to my house and like, you know, I don't know, bro. I don't know about that, bro. You know, <laughs> that, 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 that that could just go wrong. I don't, I don't know if I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, look. Just go pet the. <laughs> Hold on. I, I'll be at the door like that. Yo, go, go pet the go pet the bobcat or something. I can't let you in here. I'm sorry. Look, I, I can't do nothing for you. All right. You are gonna have to go. I'm I'm sorry. Do you know your mom's phone number or something? Can you tell me the phone number? I'll call. I'll call. <laughs> I can't let you in, man. I don't know you, okay? Didn't your mama tell you about strangers? How am I going to get, how am I getting canceled? How, sorry, I'm talking to my chat. Hold on, little girl. <laughs> how would I get canceled? How would I get canceled if I say I don't know her? How do I know she's not setting up? How do I know she don't got a parents or something that told her, yeah, tell them, tell them you're scared and there's a bobcat. All we need them to do is open the door. As soon as he open, as soon as he opens the door, you know, we're going to bum rush him, all right? That's all you got Unfortunately, the neighbor is not home yet, oh. and Taylor has to wait a stressful minute until the car pulls up, worried she's going to encounter this wild cat the whole time. The car pulls up just before she really starts to cry. I'm really glad she's alright, but I worry the bobcat will return one day, if it's still lurking in the area. If it's still lurking in the area? Why does he always add shit to it? Like, who? who, who? <laughs> If the bobcat's still lurking in the area, probably going to her family of four, which means there could be even more. Tim leaves the house with his kids to grab some lunch when he gets an alert concerning some really scary things caught on one of his ring security cameras. What is it? Two large men approach with their hoods up and faces concealed. The first turns around and is the lookout. The Black Lives Matter, right? <laughs> Look, it's a joke. It's a meme. Relax. All the it's, it's a fucking joke. Relax, okay? God damn it, bro. <laughs> Second turns around out of fear. Maven, they know it's like, oh, they shit. They got the ring, bro. They got the ring. I mean, you do have your mask on, right? I would assume you got your masks on, right? It's more than obvious that these men were going to try and gain entry before they notice they've been caught on one of the home security cameras. I'm really glad they backed away because you can hear small dogs inside that could have gotten hurt and that would have been worse than any lost item. A Reddit user named Addison W has posted one of the creepiest things ever caught on doorbell cam to the Chills Narrator subreddit. A large, scary man bikes up to their front door and has this to say. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, looked in one day and saw you. And, oh God, I can't stop. Whoa! The creepy man. Whoa! Looked in one day and saw you. And, oh God, I can't stop. 
The creepy man has his face covered and a light on his head that could be used to better see into people's windows. I don't know which is creepier, the fact that he has apparently been looking into the windows of random people's homes, or the fact that he calmly confesses it to them later into their doorbell cameras. At any rate, I really hope this person is just a random stranger with a dark sense of humor and not somebody who has developed an obsession. Unfortunately, I think the chances are very high that's, that this is somebody who is extremely messed up and cannot help themselves. Hopefully, the police find him before any of his compulsions go even back. worse. He's down bad. That brother's starving. I'm sorry. Uh, looked in one day and saw you. The Fresno Sheriff's Office in California has released three separate videos of a creepy man caught on doorbell cameras across the neighborhood trying to take them. He reaches out with a tool and you can see him trying to loosen the casing with one hand while trying- I don't think people know how these work. Like, just because you take it, like, the, vo the footage is already, like, saved. Trying to pull out the doorbell camera with the other. Concentration is written on his face as he gives one last tug and then gives up. It's ah, oh, fuck it, man. They got your face all like you. You know you're st what you're stealing, but you didn't cover up your face at all. He has more success at a different house as he pops open the casing and stuffs the doorbell camera. See, the best thing to do is the ones that got the mic, and you can just talk to like, yo, get the. Get off my door, bro. What are you doing, bro? Then they just start running. Away. Oh shit! Into something he brought with him, probably to pawn someplace later. He tries one more house Damn, without he success. Been, he been going and as crazy. he turns around, you can see a backpack that could be filled with doorbell cameras. For all we know, this also business? shows that he's pretty young and probably goes to school someplace nearby. Uh, somebody Even in the chat. Though he's been caught on camera. He's never been caught in real life. If you happen to know who this is, then don't hesitate to call the sheriff's department. Bruh, somebody in the fucking chat, bro. <laughs> a Reddit user named Miss Doolittle Tex posted some really creepy things caught on camera for the Chills Narrator subreddit Bro, that to like analyze. Heavenly controller. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression walks to her front door and doesn't ring it, just stands there confused. He thinks about doing oh, he who knows drugs. what next and then decides against it. He leaves her door but not her property, going on to walk around the perimeter and crossing into a neighbor's backyard without per- That's a big ass backyard, bruh. Golly. Permission. He returns a short while later, running away and full of energy. Only he knows what he did for sure or how bad it was. Miss Doolittle Tex calls the police to make a report, and based on this video evidence, I think she was absolutely in the right to do so. There's no reason for him to be creeping around like that, and it's good to get everything documented early, in case things get even weirder in the future. Besides, I would want my neighbor to look out for me in the same way as I do for them. Yo, a chill. rather shady chill. looking man walks up to a house in Cohasset, Massachusetts and turns on the flashlight app. The flashlight app? Or you mean just he turned on the flashlight on his phone? Oh wait, what the hell? Look at him, bro. What is he doing? He doesn't seem to notice that he's already been caught. The doorbell camera's recording his every move <clears throat> as he appears to shine all around on the ground, possibly lifting up a welcome mat and some other places oh, to look for, for keys. spare keys. He looks directly at the doorbell at 27 seconds, but seems to either not notice or not care about the camera pointed at him. Clown. Later that night, this house was entered, and the police wanted to talk to him. Judging by all of the suspicious oh, activity, shit. I think there's a good chance that this suspect was the one responsible. A scary 3am video's got a YouTuber named Logical Leprechaun scratching his head in disbelief along with both of his fake. parents too. Bro, if it's a YouTuber, bro, that should be fake, bro. They just be fake as shit for clout, man. I don't believe it. The thing runs for like another minute and he never comes back. He never does anything else. Whoever this... this never rings again. Is I wearing a dress or something? Again. 
the mysterious figure sets <clears throat> off the ring doorbell I hate camera to be that guy, man. one I just time see. and never again despite passing back and forth maybe it was numerous just, Maybe it was actually times. a weirdo. I it's the 4th of July, so somebody could have been walking around outside, but there's no reason for them to be this out of focus and definitely no reason to appear out of nowhere. It's just it's it's like dark a, there like and then boom. Out of nowhere. Logical Leprechaun says that nothing has appeared so blurry before or after this mysterious figure was caught on camera. It's no different than other doorbell cameras and works fine other than this mysterious night. I think it could be paranormal unless oh, there's some technical <laughs> explanation that someone could help me better understand. Jennifer Garcia and her boyfriend are woken up at 1 in the morning by an alarm from their ring cam. This weird round object floating around on a clear night is what sets off the alert. Too slow moving to be a bug, not to mention transparent. So what do you think this mysterious unexplained light could be? Nah. I'm not sure if it's a real paranormal nah. video, but I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt and entertain the possibility of a ghost orb outside. A creepy stranger in a crazy mood is apparently trying her best to freak out the owner of this doorbell camera. With all the weird things she's caught on tape doing, she walks towards the doorbell camera while making a face and she turns around when she sees the headlights of an oncoming car. Weird ass! Really aware that she's doing something wrong and afraid of getting caught. She steps away as the car passes, but soon she's back at it again. This time chomping at the camera and then what? doing some weird movements with her arms. Maybe she's got the wrong she like a Teletubby, bro. She knows the owner of this doorbell cam. Maybe she's trying to get their attention and wants to be let in. She maybe yeah, maybe she knows them and she's just fucking around, bro. Like maybe that's what it is. Probably like if it was a stranger and they don't know her, then like, you know, that's that's obviously weird. But maybe she actually knows them and we kinda get on her for no reason. <laughs> she's kinda having fun, bro. If I bro, if I'm going to a homie's house and I see a doorbell cam, I'm gonna be doing some stupid shit too, bro. I think I actually did that. When I was at uh when I went to Berlin's uh house, bro, he had he had a, a cam, like a house uh thing, and I was up in that bit like you know, I was waiting. I was waiting to come in. I was, I was up there. <laughs> I was up in that bit just dancing. I don't even know if it was on or anything, but you know. She doesn't necessarily look dangerous, but doesn't appear to be in her right mind. I think she's just having fun. And could probably change moods at any moment. And then she did. She just want somebody like looking at her being weird. I do. I do the same thing. If I saw a coming, if I saw a car coming, I'd be like, "Oh shit, let me stop." <laughs> Man, let me stop. Bro. So I don't blame the homeowner for not opening the door and seeing what she wanted. I doubt it was anything good. <laughs> a strange smear of a man floats across the sidewalk and materializes into a person. Their lower half is missing and then they disappear. One of the weirdest things caught on camera is- now, I think the camera just bugging out, man. Come on now, it's just the dude walking. How the apparent ghost checks its phone when it first appears. Chill, bro, he, he be trying to press this shit. He going, he's just going to claim it's a ghost, bruh. Either this is a strange camera glitch, or else I guess we still keep our phones in the afterlife. This scary doorbell video is from the Chills Narrator subreddit, oh and it was posted by Tay Harley Quinn. They say their camera has never acted weird before, but for some reason this mysterious shadow figure, transparent and paranormal, is somebody on a scooter, bro. traveling at a high rate of speed behind a truck at or random. Running. Some people say this is a person on a bike, while others say it's somebody running. But most agree that this video is paranormal from the looks he of it. He passed his fuck. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but he passed his fuck. say that this is a glitch. Somebody I probably stole his fuck. Hey, much hey. Explanation, Come on, it's like pickup truck, bro. I would like to hear more. <laughs> Until then, I think this could be a real ghost sighting caught on home security camera. I've got a challenge for you. Okay, Since I like Since you've it. made it this far, okay. why not like this video ah, come and hit subscribe on, man. in the next five seconds? because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one, this convincingly real ghost sighting was caught on- Bro, stop saying shit is go- You know it's not ghosts. You know it's not ghosts, man. You do it for the damn clicks.
on a ring doorbell camera tilted at an interesting perspective that shows us more than most other it looks scary like it looks like he's just wearing all white and the camera can't like pick it up or something or is he just blending in with the uh, background tilted at an interesting perspective that shows us more than most other scary door honestly y'all if we were ghosts right if we were ghosts and we can come back why the fuck would we like why would we we just be walking around like when you think we could do some more cool shit than walk on the sidewalk in the neighborhood like if i'm a ghost bro i'm walking in the street and shit like I'm not gonna abide by the fucking laws of the, of Earth. Bell cam videos ever do. The mysterious figure appears from nothingness, which is scary enough. But what makes one of the creepiest things ever caught in the history of doorbell cameras is how the apparition continues to walk down the street for 37 seconds before disappearing again. Feel free to prove me wrong, but this could actually be a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Freaky, right? No, it's a super sketchy miscreant duo leans into view of a door doorbell camera in Fort Bend County, Texas. They're dressed in black and touch stuff on her porch wearing gloves, so oh, it's shit. pretty clear that they want to cover their track. It's pretty clear that they want to cover their track. Yo, he be trying to he be really trying to press people and like, yo, this is what I'm telling you it is. It's a ghost. Freaky, right? This shit creepy, right? All right, look, look, we're going to do one more uh we're going to do one more doorbell thing. I want to do a new one. This isn't from Chill though. This isn't from Chill, but uh, it's a more recent. It's another recent one because like there's a whole bunch of like doorbell videos, like caught on doorbell videos and shit like that. But like I've seen all of them, and they're old as fuck. They'd be like years old. So this one's actually uh, new. So let's check this one out. Hello, everybody. Shrouded hand here. Shrouded Today hand we're here. going to be looking at some of the scariest stuff captured. Damn, this is so different than this is so different than fucking <laughs> than what we're used to hearing, man. By doorbell cameras. Since these cameras have become more affordable and popular, affordable. we've seen a whole slew of creepy. Oh, slow of a is that? I know it's not a spider. Please don't. The doorbell it's a spider, camera videos. It's a spider. Oh my god! 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 It's on the screen. Safety of your. Oh my god. You know how there's like a delay? I paused it and then tried to fast forward. I look over to this screen, which is my stream, and then I see it again. Oh my god, it was so hairy. Your house and the dangers of the big wide world. Any attackers or people seeking safety are likely to come from that direction, there which is probably warning. why so much. I noticed the, the fucking. Look at this. Look at this shit, bro. People seeking safety are like. One of y'all niggas in the chat. Or, or was it, I thought he was ding dong ditching. Oh, he's scared. That little boy's scared. Lead to come from that direction, which is probably why so much weird stuff gets captured on these doorbell cams. So I've gone through a lot of these videos and I've picked out the ones that I find the most scary. I've tried to avoid ones that are just people in Halloween masks acting a bit spooky because I'm pretty sure most of these are just people playing pranks. But I've tried to find some interesting ones, so let's take a look. Let's take a look with our eyes. Videos of burglars casing a house or just prowling around a property are creepy. Bro, it is broad daylight and this nigga's in a ski mask. They're, they're in ski masks trying to hit a lick. Because they have that what if factor. Imagine the terror of being a homeowner and seeing a strange figure creeping around your property. What would have happened if they broke in or if you answered the door? What if they come back another night? At least if you get burgled, you know the robbers probably won't come back anytime soon, but seeing someone casing out your property must fill you with that horrible sense of anticipation. Yeah, you know great. that your house has been targeted and they might return to finish. That's why, yo, always lock your doors and shit. Yo, I, I was watching, oh my god, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's a known serial killer. But there's a new documentary on Netflix, and it's like really talking about each of his things, and it follows the... Uh, the investigators who was on his case trying to find him but um no it wasn't it wasn't ted bunny night stalker thank y'all it was it's night stalker um bro he was getting like he got all his kills like or like a majority of his kills because niggas wasn't locking their doors bro he would literally just like lift up windows walk in niggas back doors and then kill them and shit it's like yo lock your shit bro the job at any time don't spoil nigga this isn't a show this it was real life <laughs> it was real life bro <laughs> bro don't spoil it man i just watched the first episode <laughs>
Yo, this is real life, man. He's a serial killer. What do you think he's doing in the rest of the show, bro? Huh? Just eating, like, fucking eating cereal or something, man? Same. This guy was spot- <laughs> There's somebody literally just watched the first episode like, wait, wait! He kills multiple people? Yo, come on, man! Fuck! Started checking various properties in Greenville, South Carolina. Shortly after this footage, he attacked a woman on her driveway and forced her into her own home. Oh, shit. He ran away after she produced a gun, but as far as I can tell, he was never caught and he's still out no there good. somewhere. This footage comes from Covina in California. Notice how the guy in front... See, now, if you're going to go and rob somebody, bro, this is how you're supposed to do it. Cover your face up, put the hood on, bro. Don't show your face, like, don't show your face, bro. Cocks his gun ready to fire. Obviously, he plans to use it. It's not just there for intimidation. Oh, shit! Oh, these are school shooters. But all lives matter, right? <laughs> By the way, that was a joke. Was sh relax, shut the fuck up. Chat, they're white. You have to do all lives. You're supposed to say, yo, when it's white people doing uh, stupid shit, you're supposed to say, but all lives matter, right? And then when it's black people, you say, oh, but black lives matter. That's what. That's the joke, bro. <laughs> that's the joke. No, you, you go, uh, if it's white, you put uh, MLB or all lives matter, you know? Oh, but, but MLB, right? Yo. This nigga say, yo. He really got the thing on him. They ready, bro. Yo! Yo, Kevin! Oh wait, does he know the person? They finna, they, they finna hit a lick on his, on a yeah, homie? Bro. That nigga really got the pole on him! This boy got on glasses. Imagine trying to commit a crime with glasses on. I couldn't do it! All a nigga gotta do is like swing at me and them shits fly off, bro. You got me, bro. I'm, you got me, man. I, I, literally, I literally, I'm already, hand, I'm handicapped now. I'm handicapped. I literally can't see, bro. I cannot see, man. I know he's breathing. His his glasses getting all blurry and shit. Luckily, Kevin wasn't home that time. Who knows Kevin! what would have happened if he was? Kevin would have got murdered, bro. That's what it. Another that's what attempted break-in. This footage comes from DeKalb. See, now he's doing it wrong. No mask, no hoodie, no shirt, no nothing. Just got the gun in the camera, showing everything, bro. He about to show the serial number for the gun, so they gonna easily trace that shit. Like, bro, niggas is doing it all wrong, bro. County in Georgia. This shirtless man was caught on two different cameras at two different homes, trying to open their front doors whilst holding a pistol. It's kind of scary how brazen he is. There's a sign on this door warning. Smile, you're on camera. Of the camera, but he just doesn't seem to care. He can't There's read. No that's why. to conceal his identity or his intentions. Look at him. Look at him, bro. Look, look at him. Just showing the gun. <laughs> it's like he's showing the he's showing the camera on purpose. Yeah, it's my Glock. You know, that's what I'm finna do you in with. You know. It's hard with these local news stories to find follow-ups for a lot of these stories, so I don't know if this guy was ever caught. But when the story went live, he was still at large. This footage comes from Oakland County in Michigan. The guy was spotted multiple times creeping around. Chat, are those, what are those shoes called? Sperry's? Chat, what the fuck is this? Oakland County in Michigan. The guy was spotted multiple times creeping around people's homes and looking into their windows. Maybe this doesn't count as a doorbell camera, but it is a camera on someone's door, so I'm including it anyway. The video is- This is what you choose to wear to a robbery, to a home invasion, man? <laughs> This is what you choose to wear. Quite short, but it shows how determined he was. The creepiest part of this story is that on another occasion, a woman woke up in the middle of the night to find this man stood next to her bed. <laughs> it says Miles. <laughs> Miles Morales. <laughs> Y'all, why is Miles Morales breaking into homes, man? Come on, man. You know the Spider-Man gig don't pay. They don't pay. They ain't paying a nigga. Rubbing her legs. <laughs> they pay Peter Parker. Peter Parker get the money. Peter Parker get the pussy. <laughs> I don't get shit but the crumbs, man. <laughs> when she screamed, he ran out of her house. But when she checked the security cameras inside her home, she discovered that he'd already been inside her house twice that same night while she was asleep. 
As far as I can tell, that particular footage wasn't ever released to the public. This is the only video I can find of the man. We can tell because you keep looping him, hopping on this shit. Earlier this year. His name is Donovan Johnson, a 27-year-old serial peeping Tom. Who's 27? The dude looks 38, man. Surprisingly worked as an attorney at law. What? An attorney? Now, imagine reviewing your camera footage and seeing this guy <laughs> standing there at half one in the morning. Yo! This is only- Just imagine being in bed, bro. Imagine being in bed and it's almost one in the morning. And you get a, 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 the alert that someone is ringing your doorbell. You look at the app and you see this nigga here, bro. A short clip and I don't think he managed to get into the house. But it's terrifying to think that some guy could just rock up to your door like that with a gun and just wait for somebody to answer. This happened in Detroit, and I was able to find a follow-up story saying that this guy was caught Beyond a few Blue days has later. Just donated ten dollars. This is crazy. Watch Meat Canyon. This narrator sounds like the guy from that channel. It's creepy. He was. Yeah. Uh, Beyond Blue, thank you for the ten. You shared a video that I literally already seen, bro. We watched the kitty video. We watched it, man. You're late. You look. Go on my go on my YouTube channel. I'm still Dante. Look before you. What if you're wondering if I watch something? Just type in I'm Dante, okay, and then search it up, bro. Was a felon with a history of committing armed robberies. The lead pro police arrest, per, per, per arrest, arrest a man suspected of. The single mother who was in the house had a lucky escape this time. So this footage comes from Vancouver. The Notice the two guys sneaking around the back of the house as their accomplices knock on the door. Oh shit. That's crazy. This old no mass or nothing, bro. Like, they just, I think people just want to get caught. Bait and switch technique nearly worked if it wasn't for this guy slipping. Y'all, okay, okay, guys, look. <laughs> the butt, the butt Black Lives Matter shit, it's, 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 it's not funny anymore. You guys are making it unfunny because you're doing it too much, bro. You're doing it too much. From another angle, you can see how close the homeowner was to getting a face full of shotgun before he managed to shut the door. Again, I can't find any follow-up stories to see if these guys were ever caught, but the reports suggest that this wasn't a random attack and the victim may have been known to oh, be Oh no, they was plotting. This thing- Oh shit! Here's another example of that bait-and-switch technique in action. It comes from Bakersfield in California, and it all starts with an innocent-looking woman knocking on the door. Oh, it's a setup. There's like two niggas in the cut. Ain't it? Look at her checking. Yeah, yeah, I rang the doorbell. Oh, no, that's a setup. If I ever see... Nope, I'm not helping you. Help me, please. I am scared. Okay, call the police, bitch. I'm not the police. Go, go. Leave me alone. Look at her. That was a signal. What was that? She was like this or something. No, I was shooing away in that. Nah, nah, I don't want to hear a bit. Get the fuck out of here. Leave. Leave. You can go. No, you're good. You can go. Bye. Bye. Get the fuck out. I see you say- I can see you saying it like- You thought I was stupid, bitch! I told you I seen it! Oh, oh shit! Yo! Yo! Oh, Jesus fucking- They got in the house! They got in the house! Get out! I have found some follow-up stories for this one. Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Yo! I was talking all that shit! I was talking all that shit! Yo! What the fuck? That's terrifying! That is terrifying! The attackers robbed the house and then they left. Police were then able to identify the woman in the video as 27 year old Trinidad Gonzalez. Keep that thing. Damn. Come on, Trinidad. She gave a tearful interview from prison, oh. blaming the crime on her addiction to methamphetamine. You look like you're on methamphetamine. She said she was sorry for what shit. she did, but Fuck you. then she refused to identify any of her accomplices. So. You're sorry for what you did, but you ain't snitching? It's crazy because. Niggas are gonna be like, yeah, she a real one. She ain't snitch. She held her niggas down, bro. She held her niggas down like she was supposed to. Ain't this the hood shit y'all like, bro? She's gangster, right? That's gangster of her, right? She ain't no snitch. She, st she stood ten toes. So, crocodile tears, I guess. Facts. As far as I can tell, the two gunmen have... These niggas pulled up with... That. They kicked the door in and everything, bro. Never been caught. Cheers, Trinidad.
Damn. Here's a scary video from Fayetteville in North Carolina. A man is seen bloodied and beaten, being forced into his home by masked attackers. Oh no! Apparently his wife and children were in the house at the time, which is probably why he seems so reluctant to open the door for them. Oh no, I'm gonna die before- I'm gonna I'm die before I let you get to my wife, bro. Before I let you get to my wife and my children? Nah, bro, you gonna- you just gonna have to do what you gotta do, bro. We gonna square up, cause what you talking about, bro? You ain't getting in my house! You ain't touching my wife, man! <laughs> them. The, the news report I could find say they stole drugs from inside the house Damn. and that the attackers were known to the victim. So, yeah, it seems like everyone in this video... It's always they know. It's always the niggas they know, bruh. That's why it's actually kind It's like on a rare occasion that, like, niggas could be getting done, done dirty by, like, strangers. Like, I, I feel like that's crazy. Like, it's crazy that, you know, niggas that you're supposed to know or be cool with will do shit like that. But it's even crazier if you really think about it that there are people who will kill literally people that they that don't know, never spoke to or anything, just because they want to murder somebody or some shit. Like, what the fuck? I was involved in some sort of dodgy dealing. I, so. like, you niggas really wake up. I feel, like, I feel like taking a life. I feel like taking a life today. That's so crazy, bro. It's not just a random attack, this one, this but it's still ass. scary I mean, to sorry. watch. He is fat, though. Sorry. This video comes from East London, and it shows another bait-and-rush tactic. This time they're using a parcel delivery as an excuse to get the homeowner to open oh, the door. Oh, yo, see, yeah, I've been thinking about this too because, like, me and Danielle get a lot of stuff ordered to the crib. And you know the uh, fucking, you know, DoorDash and everything, bro. I'd be, I'd be super cautious about it because, like, yo, you never know. I'd be thinking, like, sometimes when I reach out to go get my, like, pick my food up from a, the delivery, that some nigga could just literally just rush, like, bum rush me. And I'd just be in my fucking boxes. Like, I, I'd just be thinking about that. I'd be like, oh, shit, man. What if I, what if, what if a nigga just set me up right now? Like, da da da. So, like, y'all, just be cautious, all right? Just be cautious and, like, you know, really be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, right. for you, yeah. man. Dude, I'll put in your door and take it because coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. SP33K donated $5. The sad thing about this is that most of these people don't get caught. Only 13 of burglaries are solved every year. 13%? Oh, damn, bro. Oh, shit. Did they hit this man? Yo! The screams in this video are harrowing. Apparently during the attack, an 11-year-old boy was shot. A woman was beat over the head with a metal pole. Oh, and the man seen at the end was stabbed in the shoulder. Luckily, none of the victims were killed. He wasn't Sadly, killed. He wasn't killed. Neither were any of the robbers. He wasn't killed. He wasn't killed. He wasn't killed. Holy there have been a number shit. of arrests made since this incident, but as it's an ongoing case, there aren't a lot of details available to the public. We can only hope they get locked up for a long time. This next set of videos I've loosely categorized as women in danger trying to get help. It's pretty scary how many of these videos exist Damn, bro. they give us a chilling insight into the everyday terror of their domestic lives this video comes from manor in texas that shit got crazy bro 
what did they even get from that? They ran up in him. They ran up in his house, shot the eleven-year-old, stabbed him in the shoulder. Did they even take anything? Like what the fuck? Yo, did y'all hear him? He said, get in the car. Get in the car. What the fuck? According to police reports, the woman and her boyfriend were driving around Manor when they got into an argument. The woman- Yo, this is too much for y'all. Just leave. Just leave, bro. Just leave. Exited the vehicle and ran to the house to seek help. This is when her boyfriend grabbed her and dragged her back to the car. The woman was found safe and well, and she didn't want to press charges, but upon reviewing the tape, police determined that the boyfriend, 20-year-old Victor Kokich, was guilty of kidnapping, and he was arrested. What the fuck, bruh? This one comes from Richmond Hill in Canada. Holy oh, shit, man. Yo, stop, be like... Slam one in your head right now, yo, yo. You think you'll get in the f car? I'm gonna get in the I think I'm gonna die. Good. Oh, shit. Shot me. I think good. I'm gonna good. Good. Okay, good. 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 I'm gonna kill you. You wanna kill me? You're gonna die. Thankfully, the woman was eventually found, and her attacker, John McLennan, was caught. Yo, what? This is the a bit of a strange fuck? story because when I was researching it. This is the craziest shit that we like. That we've seen in a minute, bro. This is the craziest shit that we've seen in a minute, bro. This is why I like watching the doorbell like camera videos, cause this shit gets fucking real, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I found another news article from a few years before where the same guy was wanted for an attempted murder of a man in Toronto. I'm not sure if he just managed to evade the cops until the kidnapping incident or if he was charged and released for the first crime. The problem with researching news articles is that violent crimes often make the news, but follow-up stories are few and far between, so... Someone said, I know this nigga! What happened between this guy being wanted for attempted murder and him kidnapping a woman four years later is unclear. The only thing that is sure is that he's now off the streets and probably having a lovely time in prison. What an, like, what an idiot, bro. This incident happened in Medford in Oregon and shows a bath towel clad woman desperately knocking on a door at half past midnight. Nope. Nope, I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. I called the police. Call the police, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, man. I can't. That's that's like the start of every horror movie, bro. I'm scared her towel's gonna fall off and like. I'm sorry, bro. I can't do shit for you, bro. What the fuck? Although the clip is short, the woman continued to knock on the door for about 15 minutes before leaving. A search was instigated afterwards when police released the footage to try and track down the woman. She was found eventually, unharmed but shaken. She had been fleeing domestic violence, but she returned to her abuser after receiving no answer at the door. Oh. The latest news story I could find said there were no arrests or charges made, and no names or further details have ever been released to the public. Damn. Bro. This video comes from Texas. Bro, it's just because you never know, bro. Like, you seen the last girl? She was acting like she was trying to do something or she needed help, and then they opened the door and like three niggas ran in. So it's like, you can't just be, you can't just trust everybody. That's just like, bro, yeah, I caught. Look, I got. I, I'm minding my bit. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I truly wish I could do something, but like, you can tell. There's, you can't tell, bro. You can tell now because you were watching a video and it's literally telling you what just happened. But when you're in the moment, you're just gonna randomly just open the door for her at one in the morning, bro. I don't know. I guess you different. I guess you different, bro. I guess you're different, bro. I don't know, man. And shows a woman in handcuffs knocking on a neighbor's door in the middle of the night. 
Again, the woman was a victim of domestic abuse. After being shackled and sexually assaulted by her boyfriend, Holy Dennis Ray shit. Collins, she managed to break the handcuffs and escape from the house. What the fuck? She was found safe and well, but before Collins could be arrested, he shot himself in the head. He'd probably heard what happens to people like him in prison and took the easy way out. This shit is wild, bro. The following footage was recorded in Los Angeles last year. <gasps> Oh my god! The man in the video was Robert Michael Mendes, a man with a string of domestic violence arrests. The woman in the footage is his ex-girlfriend. She was held captive for about 16 hours before police were able to locate her. During this time she received so many injuries that she needed to be hospitalized. Yeah, I was about Luckily to say. Robert Mendes was arrested at the scene and he's now behind bars. Damn bruh! Here's a very similar video from Las Vegas. Oh shit! Holy shit! Yo! I think the festive decorations in this one make it wow, even more bro. horrifying. The domestic bliss suggested by these jaunty decorations. Bro, this nigga, what the fuck, bro? What is wrong with people, bro? I can't show that again. Being shattered by the domestic hell of this woman's life. He Apparently tossed there was her a down, bro. Baby in the car at the time too. And there's a baby in the car? The man was identified as 23-year-old Darnell Rogers. Look at Darnell's the couple had dumb ass. Into an argument as they were driving down the street. Yeah, I'm gonna delete when the, the bot right after y'all relax. Darnell I got... flew into I got, a rage I know. and dragged her back to the car. Thankfully, he was arrested, and the woman and baby were found oh, safe and shit, well. Man. This next set of videos don't really have a theme. I guess it's just a miscellaneous selection of videos. This man got yo. He had a good. He this was a good collection, bro. This was this was like this was better than I thought it was gonna be. Like in terms of fucking the, the fucking shit I was gonna be seeing. I you know it's kind of it's too much for y'all. I know. I, I see y'all like I see y'all in the chat like yo yo delete the bot delete the bot TOS TOS. I'm like yo yo. I know I know I know it's some crazy shit. It's some crazy shit. Relax. Look. What I need y'all to do, can y'all can y'all hold it can y'all hold it down, all right? Keep it between us. Can we can can we keep this between us and then we immediately de delete the vod? I should be able to post it on YouTube or whatever, but like keep this between us, all right? Don't clip nothing, all right? And then maybe we could do this shit. Maybe we could do this shit again cuz like this shit this shit kind of crazy, bro. Holy shit. Weird stuff that I find kind of unsettling. A lot of these will appear in these top 10 creepiest doorbell footage lists, so you might have seen some of them before, but it's worth including them anyway. This elderly woman was spotted ringing someone's doorbell in the knife? middle of the night whilst holding a large kitchen knife. Oh god, please don't do nothing. There's not a lot of information on this. It originally came from a Reddit post, which this is that purge the best shit. source of information. From what I can tell, the woman had dementia and had escaped from a local oh god. nursing oh god. home. Exactly how she escaped or how she managed to get hold of the knife is unknown. I'm so scared. I doubt she planned to actually use it on anybody. In the footage, she seems to be mostly lost and confused, but it certainly does make for a creepy bit of imagery. Apparently, she was found soon afterwards and returned to the home. Okay. So, at least this story has somewhat of a happy ending. Yo, I was scared that she was just going to be like, like, <coughs> like, oh my god. This video comes from. Oh California my God! We saw this. Shows a man we, we, a I, I saw this a uh, like a while ago. Y'all remember when we camera. did the last fucking? If that wasn't weird enough. What the fuck? He goes is on that? doing this Nigga. for a full three hours. Oh my gosh! Apparently, the homeowners were away at the time, but their kids were alone in the house. When the camera detected movements Yo. and sent an alert to their phone, they were terrified to see the mysterious doorbell liquor on the front out. step. The man was identified as Roberto Arroyo, and he was arrested for stealing the power Three hours? Wait, what was the... He was doing this for three hours? ...house. 
Apparently the homeowners were away at the time, but their kids were alone in the house. When the camera detected movement and sent an alert to their phone, they were terrified to see the mysterious doorbell liquor on their front step. What the fuck? The man was identified as Roberto Arroyo, and he was arrested for stealing the power cables from people's Christmas decorations hey, in dog, their front yard. Can you stop? His behaviour in this video was very odd, to say the least. Especially because he spent three hours doing it. I assume he had some sort of mental Yo, problems. Yo, dog, it's, it's on Either hour two, man. Really you gotta get off my him, shit, man. man. Get off my porch, bruh. And if you think that was a one-off instance... Dog, it's been three hours. Stop, my nigga. <laughs> stop. Just stop. Here's another doorbell licker. This time from Lake Worth in Florida. Come on, man. Yo, I'm good, man. Yo, whatever you selling, I don't want it. Go somewhere. Okay, come on, dog. Go. I don't want none of that, man. Go somewhere. Get off my porch. I don't care what you're selling. Leave. He appears to point to the headline on the paper he's holding, although it's not clear what it actually says. Can you what put I find most disturbing is the thick drool hanging off his beard. Ew. Who knows what diseases he left on their doorbell. Ew. Again, not much information on this story. Apparently this guy was the homeless son of a neighbour, but I don't know if this was a one-off incident or if he's still out there licking doorbells. Oh my gosh, yo. I didn't even notice the drool. I'm going to include this video just to show that not all doorstep threats are human in nature. Wait, what? It shows Gerald Haywood visiting a friend's house in Lawton, Oklahoma. Watch carefully because this is a blink and you'll miss it type of situation. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? What was that? Let's play that back in slow motion. I can't, hold on. Watch from the top left as Jarrell opens the door. Hold on. A snake jumps out from above the door and bites him in the face. Oh, that shit bit him in the eye. A snake Luckily, bit him in the eye. The snake wasn't venomous. Gerald was taken to a hospital and cleaned up. A snake came out of nowhere and bit him in the eye. Get away. It was caught and killed soon afterwards, but. I guess that's what you get for biting people in the Damn, face. nigga, why you showed again, nigga? Fuck. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you found it informative. I promise I'm not being sponsored by Ring to make this, although I am now considering getting one installed. I'm definitely. I myself have had a few if, creepy knocks on my front door. If y'all don't have night, one, y'all, so or your parents don't have one, in. talk to them, bro. One time at about 3 a.m., a woman. And then they're gonna be like, "Do you got? Do you got Ring Bell money?" <laughs> Do you got door ring, whatever is called money, huh? But mom, look at this video. Look at this video. I'm Dante watched it. Look, <laughs> I don't care what the little boy you be watching is watching. If he ain't gonna pay for it, I don't give a damn what it is. <laughs> I don't care what it is, but it can protect us from burglars. Well, maybe if the burglars came in here, okay, they can help me pay the damn bills around this place because you ain't doing it. You were sitting there watching this damn stream all night long. <laughs> you watching this damn streamer, all I hear is him screaming and twerking all damn night, bro. <laughs> Sick of this shit. <laughs> but man, I'm just trying to. But man, I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you're safe. <laughs> Doms has just donated $10. Scare me. Hey, Dante. I don't know if you do request, but I have a music. I don't. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What'd you say? Look, I love you, love. I look, I love you. I appreciate you. I no, I don't. I I don't. Uh, you know, I don't really take requests like that, especially when you're saying, "Bro, come on, bro, just listen to my song." Look, I don't know, man. Maybe there'll probably be a day or something where I dedicated to doing. Cause I see you did ten dollar donation. Thank you for the ten, by the way. And it's shared media. I might do. Yo, I might have a day on stream where it's like, uh, we do the we do the shared media. All right. Um, cause it's $10 to share media and then yeah, it's like, for, it shows for 60 seconds. So I'm pretty sure I could probably get the y'all shit and we'll probably do something like that. Would that be something y'all be interested in doing? $5. Right. Dante, I am 17. Yeah, I live in bad. Lake Charles and that's we good, just got a curfew. What? Because some 12 year old girl stabbed and killed a 13 year old in a Walmart. Here so now we got a 6 p.m. curfew if you want to look it up later look up walmart stabbing six i don't think that's i don't think that's more uh, specific a 13 year old stab that's that's weird as hell man 
so yeah we'll be interested all right look chat um hold on there's one more donation and then we'll go ahead and uh we'll go ahead and wrap this up and uh i I'm, i'll be putting this on i'll be putting this on youtube so i have to delete this this vod because like some crazy yeah, shit happened that i wasn't i wasn't expecting w to happen 